Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Um, I just want to go over an example that came across my desk a few days ago, and, and this is about the third or fourth time I've seen this, so I kind of want to bring this up. It lends some credibility to uh, what we do and uh, tells you a little bit about what's out there and how expensive it is. So this guy had a room, and it was a control room, and he had live, and uh, he had control, and then he had live, and then he had voice. He had a lot going on. Bottom line is he had spent over $250,000 on this room, and he got a 12-foot wide room, 10-foot high, and 17-foot long. Well, we all know from my videos that 14-foot is the magic number that I always tell people. Any dimension less than 14-foot in acoustics is always problematical because we know at 100 cycles that's 11.3 foot long so we want to make sure that a 100 cycle wave will fit and we want to go a little bit extra just to make sure so why is that a break point because that's treatment it costs so much to treat the low frequencies cost space and money to treat so if you can have a bigger volume and size, you have less space to give up and less to spend on treatment. So it's kind of a break point. So we had two dimensions here, less than 14. And for the likes of me, I could never understand uh, at this price point why the client would have a plus six to a plus nine dB bump from 90 to 120 hertz, yikes, critical area at the producer's desk, which is in the back of the control room. So the client called me and he says, you know, how, how do we fix this? And I said, well, <laughs> at $250,000, you shouldn't have that problem to begin with. I just strongly suggest you call a designer and get, get your money back or have him come out and fix it. Well, apparently that's not an option. So what are we going to do? Well, we know from our database to a 6 to 9 dB bump in this range. And by the way, our database showed 95 hertz to 130 as problematic in these dimensions. So, like I said in the intro, that gives us a lot of credibility for our database. So, since getting the client's money back was not an option, we're going to spec in our carbon. Now... His room is tight, as you can imagine, with these dimensions, and he's even got a producer's desk here in the back. So we're going to have to fashion some kind of maybe legs for the desk to sit on that are going to be carbon. Uh, maybe we're going to have some smaller freestanding carbon units around. It's all about square footage, matching the treatment to the problem, and that takes space and square footage. So. We'll get it figured out for him, and lot, it'll be a lot less than $250,000, hopefully. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed our videos today, and if you did, we really would appreciate a thumbs up from you. If you have any questions or comments, you can go to the comment section, or you can go to our website, AcousticFields.com, and fill out the contact form. Subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. We're now doing two videos a week. If you have some ideas for topics, you can uh, submit those to us also. If you're having room issues, we have that free room analysis. You can click on the button below and we'll compare your room to our database of 120 built rooms that uh, we built and actually measured. And I guarantee you, your room is in that database. So just click on the button below for the free room analysis. Thank you.